Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, today we have a little frozen meal for you. We picked this up at Target and we bought several from this brand, so you're gonna be seeing them coming up. It is the AO Worlds of Flavor Oceans of Soul Top Chef Eric Ajapong's Waki. I butchered all of that, just FYI. Beans and rice, red peas and rice, slow cooked with millet leaves and served with a delicious red sauce. Authentic West African cuisine, mild spice level. This is an eight ounce bowl of it for $5.69. And now we got this at Target. It's pretty pricey. Yes. And so I guess this chef is from the show Top Chef, uh -huh. which is on Bravo TV. Mm -hmm. you used to watch it back in the day. And now this is a West African dish, which, yes. you know, West African food, there's a Nigerian restaurant not far from us. We go there and we like the food. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw this, I was super excited because it's becoming now more mainstream. Usually, I feel like Ethiopian food is very popular. Yeah. But West African food, in my opinion, I think is better. Yeah, I And agree. so here we are. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now this smells pretty good. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Hey guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up, we'd buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. I actually don't hate it, but do I love it enough to buy it again? No. The reason is this reminds me so much of Indian rice and beans that we've reviewed before mm. in those microwavable pouches. Yeah. This thing is almost six bucks. And here's the thing, I don't like the way the rice is, which on the box, it looks like big pieces, but- Like long grain rice. Exactly, but in this thing, it looks like it's just chopped up. I don't like that. Just when you're eating it, the texture I feel like is off when you're eating it that way. The beans are very small. And I just feel like there's Indian dishes, cause that's what this reminded me of so much like and there's better versions out there that are cheaper because at the Indian grocery store, those things were like, what, two bucks? Mm -hmm. So it's cheaper and the portion is just gigantic compared to this. Not bad, but okay, thumbs down. Hmm. All right, for me, it's a thumbs down. I agree wholeheartedly with everything. It tastes okay. I would say if anything, it's slightly on the bland side. I would expect maybe a little bit more flavor, but it's not bad. Like that's just nitpicking on like what you expect, you know? But overall, I do not like that the rice is like chopped up. It does make it feel just off in your mouth. I like that the beans are small. I don't mind that at all, but they are very, very, very dry on the inside. They're almost like overcooked or something like, cause they're chalky. They're not like creamy on the inside. So I didn't love that overall. The dish as a whole was pretty dry. It was a little bit to like choke down. Um, it's not bad though. Like this could be good if you jazzed it up a little bit, but for me, the biggest stumbling block is the price versus the portion size and everything because it's just, that's out of control. This is literally rice and beans, which is like the cheapest thing on the planet. I feel like instead of putting it in a box like this, you know what they should have done? An Uncle Ben's rice pouch. Yeah, exactly. The Uncle Ben's rice pouches, which yeah. are like um, just a pouch where you can throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds and mm -hmm. boom. So I think if this was made into a shelf stable product, yes. it would have been better. And actually, you know what? The Uncle Ben's red beans and rice is far better than this. And it's like a buck 50, a buck 29. And that's what this also reminded me of. So yes. just not worth your hard earned money. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.